Hi, my name is Brandon. This is my furry friend tag with Ronin. This guy's name is Ronin, the chick magnet, Ronin the warrior, Ronin the beast, anything you like really. He's about to be five months in a couple of weeks. Oh, get out of here. So he's still a baby. He's a really big baby, as you can tell. Uh, he is a full bred black German Shepherd. And he's about five months, going on to five months in a couple of weeks. So he's pretty, he's pretty big for five months. He's getting to like 40 pounds or something. So this guy is actually my first dog. I've never had a dog before. My parents never really liked the idea of having a dog just because they didn't want to take care of it. I completely understand what they mean now because it's not an easy task taking care of a little puppy. This guy's giving me a lot of headaches. My expectations of having a dog. I honestly thought it was going to be easy just because when I go to my friend's house, their dogs would be really, really good, obedient. You know, they always listen to whatever they say. And they were just, you know, just chilling. And I was like, man, I want to chill with the dog every day. But no, that's like the exact opposite, especially with a puppy. They have so much energy that you have to like be with them 24 seven or else they will like poop everywhere, pee everywhere. They eat everything. This guy's like destroyed my speakers, destroyed tables. That's another really disgusting thing. Whenever I see him eat something bad, I have to wait for him to shit and make sure he shits it out. So I have to like kind of sift through his poop to make sure it's not in his system. That's, that's a new thing for me. I never thought I'd be, you know, looking through poop to check some uh, my dog's health. As a dog owner right now, it's it's still in its tough stages, but I think I'm still getting used. I'm starting to get used to it. Like I know, I'm not the type of person that lives on a routine schedule. But with a dog right now, like every morning, this guy has to pee at like 8 a.m. And he, you know, he usually like licks my face or like rubs his nose all over my neck to wake me up because he needs to pee. And I have to feed him accordingly. It's definitely changed my lifestyle a little bit just because I have to prioritize around him. At first, I didn't really get used to it. I was really like irritated for waking up in the morning, but now it's I've gotten used to it. So now I think it's not really more. It's it's abnormal for me to not wake up early to take this guy out to pee. The biggest challenge for me having a dog so far is balancing uh, my work schedule and my lifestyle with his. Because now when I go work or when I go out, I can't. Especially because he's a puppy, I can't uh, be out for more than three hours or else, you know, he'll be stuck in his cage where he'll need to poop, he'll need to pee. So definitely he's on top of the list right now. For, well, I shouldn't say that. Work comes first, but I do have to plan around him, which has been pretty tough because some days work just extends longer and I have to ask a few of my housemates, you know, to feed him or let him out. And ultimately it's my responsibility, so I do feel bad when I let other people when I have to uh, ask other people to help me, you know, take care of him. So that's definitely the hardest part. You know, I've had to cancel a lot of plans, going out with friends, stuff like that to watch the dog. But, you know, it'll all be worth it after his puppy stage, because I heard as a puppy, you have to. Oh. As a puppy, you have to watch him all the time. Which is good, because I think he's attached to me now. Hey! Hey, embrace it. So I have to leave Ronan in the cage when I'm out because he's not potty trained yet. So if I do leave him out of the cage, i will probably come home and it'll probably smell like a dump. And if I do leave him in the backyard, like I said, he does dig up a bunch of holes, he chews plants. Oh, he eats shit. So that's one thing. I cannot leave him out in the backyard because he loves to eat his own shit for some weird reason. I've seen him eat his own diarrhea. I've seen him eat other dogs' bolts shit. So he's a shit eater and a shit monster. He loves to shit to eat the shit, to shit it back out. So yeah, that's it is why he has to be in the cage. That way I make sure he does not eat shit so he has healthy shit. So Ronan's behavior right now as a puppy is very, you know, he's very, um, like any other, I guess, animal that's born into the world. They just want to explore everything. So he's just really hyper. He runs around everywhere, sniffs everything. But 
uh, according to all the people that have told me, they change right after the puppy, their behavior changes completely. They become, you know, more mature, I guess. I think he's going to puberty right now. If I had to guess what kind of dog he'll be, his behavior wise, I would assume he's going to be a smart ass just because some of the stuff he does as a dog right now is really like a ninja. I would just go, you know, get a cup of water and I walk back and there's a pile of shit. Like he, I think he knows when I'm not watching him, he knows it's time for him to misbehave. He's really friendly with people. So hopefully he won't change that when he gets older. But he is really aggressive with other dogs. So I think he might be a little bit very aggressive and dominant. But in a couple of months, these things will be snip snipped. Sadly, I don't want to do it, but the vet and everybody recommended it, especially with his breed. He's gonna, they're known to be very aggressive, so I don't want him biting anybody. So sadly, he's gonna get his balls chopped off. So I'm letting him enjoy it while he can. Beat. So a funny story about this guy is when I first got him from my good friend Stanley, uh, he was good enough to drive him over to my house. Uh, it was about a 40 minute drive. And like <laughs> midway through, he texts me, he's like, you owe me, man. Uh, he, he shit and threw up on himself because it was his first car ride and he, was, he just left his pack. So he was kind of traumatized. And I opened the door when my friend arrives and he's just wet, like drenched everywhere. And it's not from water, it's from his own pee, from his own puke and his own shit. So you can imagine like how sad he looked and I was just like, oh geez, I had to pick him up. So I picked him up, immediately gave him a bath. So that was his first impression of me. You know, drenched in puke and shit and piss. But I think it worked out pretty well. You know, he's really obedient right now. So another funny story is when we were all actually home, like every one of us were home. I think there was like seven of us. We were eating together in the dining room. And the dogs were just under the table, uh, relaxing. And I've, I've trained, I tried to train myself to watch him every few minutes. But I guess in those few minutes, uh, he took a shit, like right by us. Nobody noticed. We were all just eating and then a few of us were just like, what's that smell? And I turn around and this guy has two piles of shit right behind me. And he's just staring at me like, what, what? Yeah, see, how can a dog shit and nobody know in the whole room? That's why this guy is a ninja. But the biggest thing that having a dog has taught me is time management. Because, like I said before, I have to... I'm not the type of person that lives on a routine schedule. Especially with the work I do, like JK and stuff. There's always random, random schedules. Some shoots would be super long, other shoots would be super short. And some would be early in the morning, some would be late at night. So I'm not used to, you know, I guess you could say working a 9 to 5. So having a dog is more like a 9 to 5 right now, especially as a puppy. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta work things around him. I've never had to do that in my life. And it's, it's, it's kind of, I guess you could say humbling when you take care of something. Not, not necessarily like a human being, but it's pretty darn close because right now all he does is sleep, play, eat, cheat, eat shit. Um, yeah, just taking care of something so big, you know, you just kind of just opens your eyes to, I guess, a bigger world, you could say, because um, I don't, I'm less selfish, I guess. I have to take care of this guy. And if, like, I read somewhere that whenever a dog does something wrong, it's not their fault. It's more your fault because you're not there to like take care of him, teach him, and guide him. So I try my best, but there are days where you know I have to put work first. But yeah, ultimately I don't really. I mean, I punish him, but I won't blame him for anything he does wrong. I would blame myself because uh, yeah, ultimately everything comes down to me. So he and I've been told by people, dogs usually are an image of their owner. So, I want to be a good image for this guy. Hopefully he won't be a dog biting crazy thing. But yeah, that's it. All right guys, thanks for watching and 
taking your time off to learn about me and this guy Ronan. If you guys would like to watch any other furry fantastic with the JK members, just click the link below and click their videos. Bye. So today is a beautiful morning and although we live in Los Angeles, there are so many parts of LA we've never explored and we're going to explore